Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us. I'd like to say a couple words on behalf of myself, Mario Garza, the mayor of San Juan, and the city commission. Over the past month, our daily routine, medical practice, how we do business has changed dramatically. Where we once shared experience, where human touch was used in respect, compassion, assurance, now has changed to keep us a social distance to the threat of coronavirus. Today, the streets are quiet. Most residents are heeding our order to stay at home. Business are shuttered. Playground schools and houses of worship are empty. The current spread of coronavirus is quite disturbing. There is a sense of unknown how bad will this get? Will it affect me? How will it further change our way of life? Just as we try to calm down and remind ourselves not to worry beyond the facts, the next day's news reveals something more shocking. Fear is a very upsetting emotion. In the moments like now, it is prayer that we need to turn to, prayer for a relationship with God, to find comfort and peace in which we need the most. This is a time to place ourselves in our Lord's hands and to ask for the grace to trust. It is in these times we are waiting, hoping, praying that the crisis ends sooner than later. Even though we wish the circumstances were different, it is amazing to see the Spirit of God is still alive and working through His community. It is heartwarming to see people within our community stepping up to help others during the time of need. It is always humbling to see the Spirit of God in the growing number of folks at home sewing and donating face coverings. I can see the Spirit of God working in our school districts and city doing every possible to bring curbside meals for all students and families. In these moments, times of worry and strife, what comfort is to know we can count on prayer and hope. This is that one thing that we all know we can cling to. During the National Day of Prayer, I hope for a brighter tomorrow a better outlook or an encouraging solution to the issues that currently beset us. I pray that we all are able to hang on as we anxiously wait it out. It is my hope that our hearts and minds we know this too shall pass. I pray for those in authority, for supernatural wisdom, for the ability to speak solutions, for the unity that comes from corporate humanity and the truth and grace to pour out in our community leaders. I pray for those providing care, for protection, kindness, compassion, wisdom, and knowledge, for the strength and long suffering and energy for the world's families who were and have been affected by this horrific virus. I pray we love our neighbors as well at this time, that we do confuse with the faithfulness. We do not mock anyone or judge those who think differently than us. I place this community in our Lord's hands and to ask for the grace to trust. Most loving God, creator of all of us, we turn to you to care for the people in need. We thank you for the presence among us and the peace you offer us. Send us your spirit to fill us with courage and hope so that we, we might be your instruments of love and assistance for others in need. Through this crisis, may we come together as people of faith in a crisis so often do by your grace and may we come out more united and more determined to care for those most in needs. Thank you for your graces we need these days. For all this, I pray in Jesus name, amen.
Welcome. Welcome to the City of San Juan. It is with great honor to be here with you once again as we all gather and pray. The COVID-19 pandemic will not stop us from praying. We may not be praying in person like previous years, but we are praying using modern technology to get the message to everyone. I'd like to thank Pastor Nuno Rodriguez, the Coalition for a Better San Juan for spearheading this event, along with the Mayor Mario Garza, Mayor Pro Tem Lenny Sanchez, Commissioner Jesse Ramirez, Commissioner Neto Guajardo, and Commissioner Marky Villegas for allowing this event National Day of Prayer to take place as this year's theme is God's glory across the earth. What a beautiful message, God's glory across the earth. Comes to mind that uh, what we're facing worldwide, which is a COVID-19, we that believe in our good Lord go through life knowing that God has a plan and a purpose for every single one of us. Tim Tebow mentioned in an interview that it is not about knowing God's plan, okay? It is not knowing about God's plan, but it's about following God's plan. So this really lets me to believe based on what is written in the Bible that if we believe, if we have faith, if we all come together as one, we'll see God's glory across the earth. Thank you. May God bless you today, tomorrow, and always. Thank you. Among us all, and your presence is real. Therefore, Lord, we give you thanks in advance for answering our prayers today. Amen. And welcome. I'd like to welcome you to the National Day of Prayer. And first of all, I would like to, to thank in, on behalf of the Coalition for the, of Pastors for the Greater San Juan. I'd like to thank the Mayor, Mr. Mario Garza, the City Manager, Mr. Benjamin Arjona, for making this online event possible. I would also like to thank the city officers participating, as well as the pastors of the community participating today. They all made this possible. Thank you. The theme of this year's National Day of Prayer is God's glory across the earth. La gloria de Dios a través de la tierra. And it was inspired by Habakkuk 2.14, Habakkuk 2.14. And it says, For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. And this verse was chosen prior to the pandemic. Uh, how appropriate, right? The celebration of this National Day of Prayer is like none other. We are facing the coronavirus pandemic and all its consequences. The citizens and most people have been secluded in their houses, and this has been a time when most people are realizing how powerless we can be. This is also the time, the perfect time, to turn to the one that has all the power, the one that truly comforts us, God our Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. We, the United States of America, we are still a Christian nation, and we'll continue trusting the Lord our God. Again, the scripture says, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the, covers, uh, as the waters covers the sea. The word glory is mostly used to describe the manifestation of God's presence. And the promise that we have from God is that the whole earth will be filled with the knowledge of his glory and filled with his glory. And uh, what we want is for God to, to manifest his glory in our lives, that, his, that we may know his glory, and that glory be manifested in our nation, in our state, in our city, in our community, in our homes, in our lives, and everything, that everything will be filled with the glory of the Lord. So, Father, thank you for that is joy in your presence. That is provision in your presence. That is healing in your presence. Father, let the earth be filled with your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to be praying over the world situation in our nation. Let's pray together. Father God, we just come before you today. Thank you first and foremost because you are God. And because you are God, we know that... Uh, you have 
everything under control. We pray for the situation that is going on around the entire globe because of uh, this pandemic that has come. Many nations have been affected in many different ways. And if ever there was a time that we needed you, we need you, Lord. The entire earth, Lord, needs your hand. It needs a hand of healing. It needs a hand of comfort. We pray for all those, Lord God, who have been affected, Lord God, in many different ways. We pray that your hand will be there over their lives. But we pray not only for uh, everything that is going on around the world, but we also want to pray for our nation as well, as we are uh, having a national day of prayer. And during this time, we want to pray for our nation as well. We pray for healing in this nation, and not just for healing, but for this nation to be restored, for restoration to come in this place. We pray that, Lord, in all that is happening, Lord, that your comfort, your provision would be here as well. You know, Lord, many people have um, been going through many different things, lack of finances with the economy, uh, the problems happening and so forth, Lord, and even in health, Lord, we need you. We need you in this nation. We need the, the division to be united. We need your presence in this nation like we've never needed it before. Because we are believing, Lord God, that uh, you are the only one who can help us and that this nation can turn around and once again be a nation that is under God. Once again be a nation, Lord God, that is a praying nation. So we pray, Heavenly Father, for this yes, for this uh, the crisis that is happening around this world and around this nation. We pray, Father God, that your comforting hands and arms will be in it. And that, you, Lord, all those who have lost jobs as well, Father, we pray that uh, you would bring provision in each one of these households, Lord God. Those who have lost loved ones, we pray for comfort of the heart. Those, Lord God, uh, who, who are going through many different kinds of fears because of what is happening, we pray that your hand will be upon their lives as well, bringing the comfort that they need during this time. And we believe that your glory will continue to be around this earth and around our nation as we pray for these things in the name of Jesus. National Day of Prayer is observed uh, today in the fire service along with other city departments. In the fire service, the prayer is, is very crucial as far as when we start our tour duty with the personnel, emphasizing that hopefully everybody would be safe. Uh, we do our morning prayer along with the uh, shift that's coming in and coming off. And uh, we pray, of course, for their return home to their families and, of course, to preserve and protect uh, all citizens and uh, the city of San Juan along with their properties. Uh, we pretty much see a little bit of everything on the tour of duty, which is 24 hours. So the power of prayer means uh, it's very vital in the fire service along, like I said, with, uh, with other, due to our job and to our, our assigned duties that we have on a daily, daily basis, whether it be a car accident, uh, heart attack patient, uh, children, uh, and, uh, and the elderly, of course. So uh, when we come on, come on shift, uh, that's one thing that we all, all want to do is to make sure that we pray that we all go home safe to our families. Father, as our government has been working relentlessly hard for the last few weeks, I come before you right now as this National Day of Prayer gives us the space and the lead to call upon you and to ask that you will bless the different branches of our government, executive, legislative, and judicial. Father, I pray that uh, they will find, first of all, bipartisan agreements that will bless our country, that will bless our nation, that they will find ways to work together. I pray that you will bring the unity that our government needs, the unity that our nation needs. I pray that every branch of our government, executive, legislative, and judicial would find 
the way to work towards one same goal, and that is to bless every citizen of this nation, to protect every citizen of this nation, so that as they work united, Father, we can see your glory on this earth. We can see your glory on our nation. Father, fill our nation with your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Voy a estar orando por los asuntos de la ciudad de San Juan y de sus empleados. Padre nuestro, oramos en este día, en medio de la incertidumbre y del caos, te pedimos que haya paz y armonía en las operaciones de nuestra ciudad de San Juan. Te pedimos que todos los planes y proyectos vengan a fructificación, que han sido programados de antemano y los que también se inician a medida que nuestra ciudad crezca y prospere. Confiamos que tu mano está sobre todas las cosas, especialmente en todas las operaciones de todos los departamentos diariamente, confiando que es lo mejor para la ciudad de San Juan. Te pedimos que nos ayudes a encontrar, a hacer tu voluntad, porque sabemos que nada se mueve en esta ciudad y en todas partes, si tú no lo permites. Te pedimos tu protección y tu provisión en los asuntos y operaciones de la ciudad de San Juan. Que sea un año bendecido, que no haya accidentes, enfermedades, líbralos de la pandemia. Te pedimos todo esto en el nombre de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Amén. The National Day of Prayer for Police Officers is very important to uh, every single uh, person in the department. Uh, we have uh, engraved in our police officers' uh, units in God we trust. Uh, we ask for prayer every single day for the dangers that the police officers face. Uh, in protecting our community, we ask for prayers to give them wisdom, give them the strength, give them the knowledge to make the right decisions. Uh, we ask for prayer for the families that are waiting at home while they're at work. We ask for prayers for the community to give the officer the opportunity to make the right decisions, to solve the problems with the proper direction, uh, with the guidance that is still on them through training and through uh, uh, daily uh, wisdom that they receive. Uh, it's very important that police officers uh, have God in, the, in their mind at all times. Uh, it is important for them when they go out there and answer those calls that uh, they might not return. Uh, we ask for prayer to make sure that the officers keep uh, their uh, heads uh, clear uh, of anything that's happening around them and uh, allow them to make the right decisions and act with wisdom and strength to make the right decision to protect the citizens that we're protecting on a daily basis here in the city of San Juan. Uh, we ask for prayer for all the community in support of the police officers and to make sure that our police officers are well taken care of when they're encountering danger and uh, Anybody that sees a police officer that's in danger, for them to contact the police officers, uh, the department, and uh, uh, allow us to uh, make sure that we protect our officers on a daily basis. Uh, we ask for prayer for our police officers on a single day. Uh, we pray for the police officers every day. We pray for all our staff, our dispatchers, our, our personnel in the department to make sure that they go home safely on a daily basis. So our National Day of Prayer is very important for us even though that we pray and sing every day for our police officers to make sure that uh, they do the job uh, the best they can do. Voy a estar orando por la prosperidad y las finanzas de nuestra ciudad de San Juan. Padre nuestro, una vez más, oramos en este día por la prosperidad y las finanzas de nuestra ciudad de San Juan socialmente, económicamente y espiritualmente. Te pedimos por cada negocio establecido en nuestra ciudad que tu bendición fluya a través de los negocios establecidos en nuestra ciudad por medio de estos negocios e instituciones llegue la prosperidad a los, a los ciudadanos de san juan que nos proveas de tu sabiduría para ser creativos y aumentar así los ingresos y las ganancias para el beneficio de los ciudadanos de san juan Oramos por el Departamento de Desarrollo Económico de nuestra ciudad. Oramos por sus dirigentes para que los hagas sabios y entendidos. Que lleguen las bendiciones y las finanzas del norte, del sur, del este y del oeste. Pon tu mano sobre los programas federales y estatales para que lleguen las finanzas a nuestra ciudad y haya aumento de empleos y una economía robusta para la ciudad 
de San Juan, que haya nuevos negocios, franquicias, que, ha, que haya nuevos hoteles, restaurantes y que tu mano de prosperidad sea sobre nuestra, nuestra ciudad. Te pedimos esto en el nombre de Jesucristo. Amén. We're going to be praying for the local schools and for these students. Uh, Father, we just come before you right now as uh, we continue on this day of uh, prayer. Father, we pray now for the educational system. We pray for the schools, the local schools, the elementaries, the uh, middle schools, the junior highs, the high schools. Father, we pray for them. We pray for the private schools as well all the other uh, schools that we have also here within the city of San Juan and locally, Father. We pray for these schools. We pray for those who are in charge uh, of these schools, the uh, superintendents, the faculty, the staff, Lord. We pray over their lives, Father God, um, that your hand of protection will be with them during this time as well. We also pray that you would give them ideas, Father God, uh, innovation, Lord God, into uh, bringing um, education to the students now, Lord God, during this time uh, with better ideas, with good ideas, so still bringing the classroom to where the students are. We pray for that, Lord God. We pray that in all of this, your hand of safety and protection is around each and one of them. We pray for the students as well, Lord God. The students need your hand as well during this time. I know that many students right now, Father, are are they're at home and because they're at home um, this is something different for, for them it can bring about a lot of fear it can bring a lot of uh, a different type of phobias within them but in Jesus name father we just pray for them Lord God that during this time that Lord we come against any kind of depression that may come over them Lord and we bind that we believe in Jesus name Lord God that this won't come over their lives but rather father we are believing that uh, during this time, Lord God, they will grow. The students will grow in their education, in their studies. So we pray overall for the education I here in the city, Lord God, that it can, that the ch the students here in this city, Lord God, can grow and grow even during this time. We thank you for these things in Jesus' name. Buenas tardes. A, a mí me tocó orar por las familias. Es un privilegio estar orando por las familias, ya que es la familia el fundamento de toda nuestra sociedad, es la familia el fundamento de todo lo que somos, y es la familia el enfoque central de que la felicidad, la paz y la armonía empieza en un hogar sano. Oremos por todas las familias de San Juan y por todas las familias que eh, alrededor nuestro necesitan de la paz de Dios. Oremos por las familias. Padre, en el nombre de Jesús, te doy gracias, Señor, porque nos das el privilegio, Señor, como siervos, como colaboradores en tu reino, Señor, de estar intercediendo, orando por cada familia de San Juan, Señor. Desde el más pequeño hasta el mayor en una familia, Señor, reciban tu bendición. Oramos por la provisión en los hogares, oramos por el sustento en cada casa, oramos por la paz en cada uno de los miembros en los hogares, Señor. En el nombre de Jesús pedimos paz, Señor, en los matrimonios. El aumento, Señor, de violencia doméstica está trayendo conflictos en los hogares. Oramos, Señor, para que tú traigas paz a todos los matrimonios. Oramos, Señor, por los medios, Señor, de economía que necesitan las familias. Padre, que el sustento día con día llegue a cada hogar, que no falte el pan en nuestras mesas, Señor. Oramos, Padre Santo, porque en nuestra sociedad abunde y sobreabunde la paz que en tu presencia podemos encontrar. Señor, ponemos en tus manos cada familia de San Juan y ponemos en tus manos cada familia que a través de estos medios nos está escuchando. Señor, que tu bendición, tu paz y tu mano poderosa les proteja en todo momento, en el nombre poderoso de Cristo Jesús. Amén y Amén. Amén. Father, I come today to pray for that huge army of people that are facing the front lines of this battle against this unknown enemy, COVID-19, our healthcare workers. Healthcare workers throughout the nation doctors and nurses and everyone else that works 
and the hospitals and clinics and everywhere where people are being taken care of. I pray that you will keep them safe, that you will give them strength and keep them healthy, protect them from getting sick themselves, please guard their lives, strengthen their families. I pray for their families that cannot fellowship with them when they come home after work. I pray that you will strengthen their lives and that you will encourage them. That you will help them not just survive through this war, but thrive in the middle of it. That their family will strengthen their lives and encourage them as they support them. And that the rest of us in this nation will support them and honor them and respect them and recognize the labor that they have been carrying out. Father, I pray for your blessing over their lives, every doctor, every nurse, every care worker in our nation, as you keep them safe and you bless them. Anyone that has been affected by this virus and is sick at this time, those that have become positive and recovered, we thank you for it, Father. We thank you for those that have recovered. But there are many, many out there that are still going through the process, and I pray that you will heal them. I pray that you will touch their lives. I pray that you will heal people in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you will keep our healthcare workers healthy. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us continue believing and trusting God. I will read Romans 15, chapter 15, verse 13. And it says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in, as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for all these prayers, Father, for I know that you have been listening to us, Lord. I know you have been listening, and we have a promise that if we know that you hear, our prayers are answered. Thank you, Father, for filling the earth with, with your glory. Thank you for filling San Juan with your glory. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's, let our lives, our homes, our families be filled with your glory. Padre, que sea llena. Nuestra ciudad de la gloria de Dios, nuestras familias, nuestras casas, Señor, en el nombre de Jesucristo. Y que pronto, muy pronto, podamos regresar a una vida normal, Señor. Pero esta vez, mucho más cerca de ti y con una manifestación más real de tu gloria en todos los medios. Esto te lo pedimos en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. In closing, let's say the closing prayer. That we can bow our heads, close our eyes. And let's pray together. For all who have contracted the coronavirus, we pray for the care and the healing. For those who are particularly vulnerable, we pray for safety and protection. For all who experience fear and anxiety, we pray for peace of mind and spirit. For affected families who are facing difficult decisions between food, on the table, or public safety, we pray for policies that recognize their plight. For those who do not have adequate health insurance, we pray that no family will face financial burdens alone. For those who are afraid of access care due to immigration status, we pray for recognition of the God-given dignity of all. For our brothers and sisters around the world, we pray for shared solidarity. For public officials and decision makers, we pray for wisdom and guidance. Father, during this time, may your church be a sign of hope Comfort and love to all. Grant peace, grant comfort, grant healing. Be with us, Lord. Amen. In closing, I'd like to thank everybody for being here with us, making this possible. Again, the coalition, Roberto San Juan, and our Mayor Mario Garza, along with the city commissioners. Thank you all. Be safe and stay safe. <laughs>